In accident and emergency, doctors and nurses need to act fast. Especially when things like this happen. In the waiting room is seven-year-old Sally, who seems to have misplaced her pocket money. I have swallowed a coin. Go on. And I don't know how to get it out. Well, how did you get it in? Well, Zand, what happened was Sally's mum gave Sally a one-pound coin for her pocket money. Ah, oh, nice. Did she put it in her piggy bank? No. Did she buy a hundred penny sweets with it? Nope. Did she use it to hire a supermarket trolley? No, Zand. Sally decided to use the coin to play catch with. She threw the coin higher and higher. Wow, that is very high. I know, Zand. <gasps> I'm not sure the Queen's enjoying the ride. And when the coin finally came back down, Sally ran forward to catch it, but it missed her hands and went straight in her mouth. Ouch! Don't worry, Sally. Here's Dr Alan Grayson. Let's see if he can help you get a refund. Since you swallowed the pound coin, how has your breathing been? It's been OK. Can I have a little listen to your chest? Is that all right? You take some big breaths like you've been running. Dr Alan needs to check that the coin isn't affecting Sally's breathing, because that could be dangerous. When you swallow something like a nut, it goes down your throat, into your esophagus or food pipe, and then into your stomach. And Sally's coin may have done the same journey, but it could go down her trachea or windpipe and end up in her lungs, which would cause her to choke. That all sounds normal. Good news, but Dr Allen needs to find out exactly where in her body that coin is, so it's off to X-ray. So this is my camera, so I'm just going to see if we can see your coin. Show me the money. There it is. What do you think, Nurse Faye? She definitely swallowed a coin. The coin was in my belly. And that means it's past her windpipe and there's no risk of it ending up in her lungs. So it's back to Dr Allen to find out how to remove the coin. It's going to come all the way through your tummy and out into the toilet, probably in about two to three days' time. Is something on your mind, Sally? What if it fell in the toilet and it was very dirty? What we usually say to people is don't try and get it back out of the toilet. Well, I've heard of spending a penny, but never a pound. If I go to the toilet, the money will, like, appear in the toilet. That's money down the drain. Try keeping your pounds in your purse next time, Sally. Bye! Bye. <laughs>